Hello everyone, I hope you have successfully installed Ciano which uh, I showed in the previous videos and you also have installed the bleeding edge version of Ciano that is 0.8.0 Now in this video we will be answering the question what is Ciano and why shall we use Ciano So let me get started on this What is Ciano? Ok we know it that uh, Ciano is a deep learning library in python but beside being just a library it itself is kind of a language and a compiler and we'll see how it uh, behaves as a language because the other high level libraries they are built on Theano using the concepts and the functions of Theano ok so what is the recipe for Theano application means for general application what we have to do we have to just follow three steps you have to define symbolic expression, you have to compile a function that compute the numeric values using those defined symbolic expression and then we have to execute that function on the data. So I will show you what is what that means by a code. So let me go to my anaconda prompt. This is my user environment. As you know we have to type spider and I get it. You can run it in a uh, IPython console alone or you know in your Jup Jupyter notebook, but I'll just write it like a script. So I hope you remember how to add script. Let me add a new script. I click on my project, I click new, I click file, and then my first. So let me make it my first. Okay, and I'll mention dot py to let it understand it's a Python script, and I'll save it. And here I am, my first Tiano. So what I said, my first, uh, and I'll also show you how to write comment. You can write just comment using pound, so it will be a comment. Okay, so the first thing was we have to define symbolic expression. Okay, define symbolic expression. Okay, so what this what this means is we have to define some expression and assign it to some variable that we can use. So let me do a simple example. Suppose a equals. Okay, first we need to <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> first we need to import Theano. <laughs> so we'll just import Theano. Okay, and then from Theano module we'll import Tensor. Right, Tensor is the most important module in this Theano for performing your multi-dimensional computation so I'll import from Tiano I'll import from Tiano import tensor as T import ok I have imported the Tiano library and I have imported uh, its tensor module as T now I'll define symbolic expression let me put it here this one yeah. Okay. So I'll first define A equals a tensor module T dot scalar. Okay. So my A is going to be a scalar value. It's not uh, or scalar is a one dimensional tensor by itself. So I'll define another symbolic expression, a tensor variable B equals T dot scalar. Okay, and I'll define another expression. Suppose y equals a into b. Now, once I have defined my expression, now we have I have to define a function that will compute the values on those expression. Okay, now I'll define a function that computes numeric values ok so that function suppose I gave name is m mul for multiply and it's a Theano function so I'll write Theano dot function and it's very simple no? you have to mention the inputs inputs equals 
your a comma b and once you've mentioned input you have to just give the output expression these are the input expression which i've defined here a and b and now the output expression output equals y this is our output okay now we have defined the function we have defined the expression now the third step is to execute the function on the data okay so execute the function on data okay so suppose i write print or i'll just make it a function multiply equals i will call the fu function which i have already defined here m u l and i'll give input just input we need to give alone 3 comma 2 okay and then i'll write print multiply now to run this i'll click here and in this console file it's running this program okay so you see the output 6.0 if I execute this, you remember how to execute a single line? Right click, yeah, so 6.0. So you see how Tiano computes. So I'm not doing a Tiano tutorial here, I just want to introduce Tiano to you. Okay, so I hope you just got some ideas. These are the three steps that we have to follow to define the expression, we have to define the function, then we have to call the function using the data. Okay, and now the next question which we raised was why Tiano? Why we are using Tiano for deep learning? So as I showed you, it has a symbolic computation for tensors and it's highly expressive. And one very important Tiano function, which uh, which is the like the workhorse of Tiano for deep learning, is it easily computes the gradient or the differentiation, which is required for back propagation, and also it has transparent gpu acceleration and this one is also very handy i i have tried this and i can easily switch between the cpu and the gpu just with one command that we'll see in the later videos and you see the tiano easily integrates with our python environment so it's a great library so you better explore it there are a lot of tutorials available for learning tiano in later video if i get time i'll show you with tiano other your multi multiple network perceptron or uh, we'll be learning CNN as we go but okay so for now thank you we'll continue in next video some other topics thank you